everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you quick overview on my inventory management system project for this application i am using netbeans id mysql database and jframe okay so let's start with that so here you can see i have already started the applications and you can see the login page of this application and this applications having two different rules one is for the admin one is for super admin so let me try to log in with the super admin. Let me show you the functionality. Okay. So here I'm going to log in with the super admin at the rate test email.com. And then I'm going to try with the wrong password first. So if I click on login, you can see incorrect email or password is visible. So if I go with the correct password and click on login, you can see we are able to get inside the home page. After that, here you can see there's a few controls over here, user, category, product, customer, order, view, orders, all these options or buttons you can see. So if I click on user and here you can see a page is uh, visible currently and here you can see the user's details. So here you are not able to see the super admin because here we are going to manage admins users. Okay. So here one by one, if you want to register any new user, we have to enter those details. So let me uh, test, uh, let me write here some names, so test user one. And here we have to enter the contact number. So I'm just going to write a four digit contact number over here. As uh, some YouTube policy, we are not able to put any random number. So that's why I have just uh, entered the four digit uh, contact number. And after that here, test user one at the rate test email.com and the password 123 and address let's say right india and here we have to select the status of this one so if we set inactive in that case that particular user will be not able to log in if we select active then this user going to be login so let's try that so let me click on save user added successfully and if i try to update any user details we have to just click on it and you can see the password field has been shown as a black color because this will be not able to change it okay that's why and if you want to change any details related to this we can do it from here let's say i change the contact number or mobile number you can say i'm just going to write it to i'm going to just write uh, uh, after that i'm activating this user click on update user updated successfully you can see it has been activated and if i extend this one you can also see the user 2 is there so it means that our uh, like uh, functionality of this is working fine so let me copy this user details i'm going to copy this one and this one is active user right so let me close this one let me log out click on yes and here i'm going to paste it and here i'm going to enter one two three try to log in if i log in you can see the user option is not there because this uh, is a admin as an admin role and previously we log in as a super admin so admin does not have access to the uh, that manage user part so that's why he's only able to see this controls. So now we will go with the each by uh, each uh, by these buttons. So first there is an option of category. So I'm going to click on it. So different categories we can uh, create in this application. So here you can see electronics, office supplies, toys and games, food and groceries. So here I'm going to create a test category name. I'm going to click on save. You can see it has been created. If I click back we can update this update button is enabled here you can see if i want to reset just click on it it will uh, just reset our form and save button will be enabled and we can enter the values to add new item let me click on it over here if i click one click on update it will refresh the page and you can see here let me revert it and click on update and save this so in this way we are able to manage the category part let me close it now we have to move to the product click on it you can see there's an uh, eight products is already exist in our database. So uh, we are going to add one uh, product here. So test product, I'm going to enter the quantity, uh, let's say 50 and the price I'm going to set it 200 and descriptions just write test product description. And here we have to select the which category we want to add this particular product. So I'm going to with the test category, I'm going to click on save. And you can see product added successfully, successfully message is visible. Click on OK. You can see product has been added. If I click on this uh, particular uh, product, you can see the product details is visible over here. 
you can see the name but here you can see the add quantity is the label is also get changed so basically we have currently 50 quantity right so as we want to update it we want to just update the quantity of that particular uh, product so in that you have to just enter whatever the quantity you want to add in this one so let's say we want to add 5 so it will be total 5, 55 here quantity will be changed if i want to update the price let's say 2000 list uh, let test here test one and click on update you can see 55 quantity is there and 2000 price is there and and one more thing you are seeing over here so whenever we going to click on this one you can see category is going to be changed whatever the selected value exists for that particular product is at top first position by default it has been selected so those also features we have added for this one if i click on reset it will reset the form and if I close, it will close the form. So this is all related to the product. Now we are moving to the customer. So we also need to register our customer uh, before generating any bills. So here we have to enter the customer details. So customer and five and here and here we need to enter contact number. So just write four nine and here now here we have to enter email address. So customer five at the rate test email.com i'm going to click on save customer added successfully you can see customer details has been updated if i want to change it we just need to click on it we can update it and when we click on update it will going to be customer updated successfully so in this way we can manage the customer so let me close this one after that we have orders so from here we are going to generate the bills whatever the order has been executed from here we can select the customer and from here you can see the all the product which exist in our database and after that we have cart from here we can see all the selected items to generate the bill okay so here one by one we are going to select any one customer first so let's say i'm going to generate for the customer five if i click on this particular raw you can see data has been populated in this fields and now if i go want to save order details you can see error is visible because we have to also validating here that uh, all the details has been uh, filled up or not in the form because till now we don't have any items in the cards if i try to generate the bill it will show the error message now here i'm going to select some products so let me click on it here clicking on order quantity here we have to enter the quantity and here you can see the details and click on add to cart you can see we getting a message added successfully and if i click on ok after that you can see the cart we have all the details related to that particular uh, like product which we have added if I click on camera I want two quantity I'm going to click on add to cart you can see it has been generated added over here also after that if I, I need this product so I need to click on it I also need two quantity click on it and here is you can see there's a quantity exist you can see here it is not getting changed right so once you generate the bill then only it will going to be changed okay and if i want to let's say uh, this item already exists in our cart right and if i want to add the same coin uh, product again so it will throw error product already exists in cart so if you want to change and modify the quantity purchase first you need to remove it from the here and then you can again add it okay so you can see now i'm able to add it again and and if you want to let's say the quantity is 8 right here so if i um, try to add a 9 quantity it will show the error message product is out of stock only 8 left so we have to uh, enter the values values is equals to a uh, the quantity or less than the particular quantity okay so let me uh, generate the bills for this one let me click on save order details so you can see a pop-up has been open and it uh, having all the informations which we have purchased and details here you can see order id which has been generated now and after that you can see the date and time and after that you can see the total paid amount here and here you can see the name of particular small particular product you can see the description you can see the price per unit you can see the quantity and you can see the subtotal so here you can see breakups of all the uh, product details which we have which has been purchased by customer 5 so and there's a reset button you can reset this form and from here you can close it so this is all related to order part 
Now we are going to move to the view order page and here you can see the left side uh, the customer listed there. Here you can see all the customers, customers which exist in our database. And if I click on draw, it will uh, like get all the bills which has been generated for the particular customer and populate in the order list tables. Here you can see if I click on customer to bill ID has been changed, amount has been changed, everything is getting changed as per customer details. If I want to see the bill of that particular customer, so you just need to click on this particular raw of order list. You can see bill has been opened. And if I click on uh, close, it will going to be close the form. So this is all related to view order. And few more things I want to show you that in the all the forms we have put the validations. If I directly click on save button, it will show the error. All fields are required. In the same way, in the products we also uh, put the validations. So this is all uh, related to our inventory management system project. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.